Hey, how's it going everyone? So today's video is about rendering inside of Unreal Engine to get nice quality renders for your portfolio or to send off to you know, employers or, or clients or anything like that to sort of present your work. I'll show you what the level, what my character looks at the moment in the level. If I go into game view, immersive mode, there you go. Nice looking character, nicely rendered and everything like that. It looks, you know, it's good quality render to send off to someone or even to post up on your art station or something like that. So, so firstly, when you get into Unreal Engine, you're going to want to create a new level and create an empty level. That will create a level that's completely pitch black and looks something like this. Import your character, set up the materials and everything like that, and they'll enter that level, you know, where it should be. I, I chose starting place for this character to be, you know, zero, 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 which is the origin where everything should start. Um, I'll say origin of the map. So what you want to do is you want to go into lights and create a point light. And create the point light, place it top left of the character like he's facing the sun. So what I've done is I created the fill light right here. Now it's about there in relation to the character. Now the settings of the light well, uh, one other thing, the higher the light is to the character, the less intense it's going to be <clears throat> and the more it's going to cover. So what I did is with the intensity, I put at 80, you know, higher intensity increases the intensity of the light. So I chose 80 just to give it, you know, some fill. The light colour should be about a light pinkish colour. Um, it's about here on the wheel if you want to just get those details. Um, attenuation radius. So that is the radius of the point light. Um, how it affects things. So the lower the attenuation radi radius, the less it's going to affect in game. Um, source radius and all that is just zero. Um, affects world, you want it to affect the world. Cast shadows, you definitely want this to give, you know, to make it look better. Um, volumetric scattering, you want it to be one. I'll show you why later. Indirect lighting intensity is one as well. Um, visible, yet yeah. Actor hidden in game, nope. Um, so that when you click play, you can actually see the lights. Um... And that's about all the settings I used for the fill light. So when you've done that, you're going to want to copy and paste it and bring it to the right hand side of the character. But bring it down. I'll show you my second light and where it is. So the second light is... I'd say it's a little bit closer to the character um, on the, is that the Z-axis? No, y, yeah, Y-axis y axis is closer. Location is, you know, it's lower. It's the right-hand side of the character. Um, this basically fills the right-hand side of the character's face um, and body. What I've done is intensity should be lower because the higher intensity it is the sort of, I don't know, you want the left hand side to be stronger than the right hand side so you get that shadowy effect. So I did, I did 42.13 and the light colour can be a blue or it can be even a red or a green. It can be anything you want, just whatever colours you prefer. Um, I chose a blue, as you can see right there. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, for this style of character, I've chosen blues, pinks, um, it's like reds. Um, I know it looked cool on the character, I quite liked it. Depending on the character and the style you look going for, you can change the lights and colour and weather. But, um, yeah, so this the colour I did for the right hand side, intensity is 42. Volume matrix scattering is 1. Uh, pretty much the exact same settings as before, the only thing you really change is intensity and the colour and location of it. Third one, you need to copy and paste this one and drag it to the back right of the character. But as you can see, it's closer to the character, um, but it's just further back, as you can see right here. Um, so yeah, you want it to be roughly, is that the same height? Yeah, ba basically the same height, close to the character, you can see what I've done here. Um, but bring it back to the back right of the character so that it can fill different, well, it can fill up the back of that character. Intensity should be a little bit higher because it is further back. Um, like colour, I've made it a, the same blue but just darker. Um, <clears throat> exact same settings before. One thing I forgot to mention is with the lights, you need to check that it's movable. Um, if it's not movable, you're going to have lighting errors, which you don't want. So, yeah, make sure it's movable. Um, yeah. Then you're going to want to make a, you want to copy and paste this one and send it to the left of that character. You want to bring it further back. Um, basically where I've placed it here. Further back to the left. Um, if we go in front of the character, you can see lighting setup and lighting locations here. Um, and what I've done is made the intensity higher because it is further back. The light colour is a reddish slash pinkish colour. Um, yeah. In theory, I could change that to a darker red. But pink works. So with that, yeah, exact same. So intensity, light color, that's all you really change. And then you get into the sort of minor detail lights. So you get that light or your back blue light. You basically copy and paste it and bring it down here. That, what that's going to do is if you decrease the intensity to about 15, light colour should be a bit darker. All that's going to do is fill your footwear up a little bit, just so that, um, just so more of the clothing is visible. Volumetric scattering should be zero for this, and I'll tell you why when I get to the exponential height fog. Um, my other two lights are basically the pink light. You need to bring it down and back. Same with that blue light, you just bring it down and back. Um, the lighting should be a bit lighter. Um, intensity should be about 10 or quite low. Um, the reason for this is that's all that light is going to do is fill up the back of that character. So as you can see, the arms and the boots, the higher it is, the more it's filled up. So as I said, put about 10. So it's just filling up that clothing in the back so you can see it's visible. Um, and then a secondary pink light, just bring it up a bit. That will fill, um, that will just fill the clothing up a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that is the, <clears throat> that's the, you know, lighting setup that I would use for an Unreal Engine render, which is pretty cool, um, makes it look pretty cool, pretty well, pretty decent. 
if I go into a massive mode, and it's filled up. I go into game view. Yeah, it's filled up the character with a completely back, completely black background. Um, so yeah. After that, there is the post process volume that you can add. Okay, so all I've really done for the post post process volume is just sort of make it make all the clothing a bit darker, less you know white, I guess. All I wanted to do was <clears throat> make the shadows uh, more contrasted. So what I did with the shadows was boost the Y. The lower the Y, the more contrasted your shadows are going to be. Um, higher, you're basically going to have all black. So what I did is just have it at 1.2 because 1.2 made it look good. <clears throat> you can mess around with it all you want. And now the thing which really makes the background pop out is exponential height fog. If I go into my immersive mode, I do a render that looks something like something like that. With your height fog, click volumetric fog. What this does is when I selected <clears throat> when I selected the volumetric scattering, that's what created the lights. That light has now not got any, you know, um, volumetric scattering on. But when I choose one, there you go, you can see it. So with the height fog, make sure volumetric fog is on. Uh, extinction scale is just, you know, how much there is. View distance, distance between it. Just keep it at the default values. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Next part of this is, yeah, visible, act hidden game. Nope. Um, the reason you do this is when you click play, it's gone. Whereas now it's not gone. After that, you want to do fog density. That's just how dense it is. Uh, height fall off. It's just how concentrated it is, as you can see. Fog and scattering color. I just chose like a black. Max opacity is just how clear the fog is. Zero, there's no fog. Um, one, the fog's there. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. So, when you followed all that, click, click, click Game View, then click Immersive Mode. But if you don't want to do Immersive Mode, you can do Cinematic Viewport. What this will do is create a cinematic viewport for you, which is great for renders. So, Immersive Mode. I can click that, you then click on this button here, high resolution screenshot, click four, and then take a screenshot. Um, <clears throat> the reason I did, you know, four is just so I could increase the quality of the image. Once you've done that, you oh, link test. You go into your project folder. So I've got my clone live link test. This is the project I did it in. Live link test, saved, screenshots, windows. And you can find all your screenshots here. Um, the screenshot I did before was like that. which works really well for a render. Um, so yeah, that is basically how you get your, that's basically how you get a good render out of Unreal Engine, how you can send it off to an employer or a client. So this look like I can render in Unreal, this is the character I can make and it works fine. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, I hope that did help you guys. Um, something I learned recently about, um, I'm not sure if I prefer it to Marmoset Toolbag, um, cause I've made some really nice renders in here compared to what I've done in there. So recently I've just been doing Unreal Engine renders. So, I mean, it's great. It's a free way of rendering. If you don't want to buy Marmoset Toolbag, you can just do this. Um, very simple lighting setup and definitely good presentation. Um, even shows you can set up a character in Unreal Engine. Another thing that's not that important, but Skylight. I just did, you know, SLS specified cube map. Chose an HDRI from it. Um, light color doesn't really matter too much. Um, yeah, I mean, that part wasn't that important, but it's still something which, if you want to add it, you can add it. Doesn't matter too much, but yeah, there you go. There's a full tutorial on rendering inside of Unreal Engine. If it helped you guys, leave a like, um, subscribe down below. I've had a lot of, uh, you know, my channel's grown quite a lot recently, so I'm really enjoying it. Um, trying to make this channel turn something big. Hopefully I can do this as a job in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.